Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Easy Things to Draw. Enrique here. I am going to draw broccoli today. So we're going to start out by using um, basically a magic marker. The only thing different about this marker is that it's pointed at the tip. That's kind of it. Otherwise, you can use anything you want. It really doesn't matter. I've used flat edge markers as well. So we're going to go over how to draw that evil vegetable broccoli. And I love it. I really like it. It's really good for uh, vitamins and, you know, it's really good when you're working out. You know, it's a good food source. So anyways, let's get started. I'm going to draw like a tree. Straight line down. And I'm going to draw another line, but it's not going to be parallel. They're going to come down together. Eventually they would meet together at the bottom, but they're, we're not going to do that. We're going to close it off. Kind of, and these can be random. You're just showing where it comes together and where someone cut it off at one point. And these are made up of several, think of broccoli as several little tubes, several little trees mashed together, kind of merged, merged together. And I'm putting little V's to kind of show the point where they were separate to the point where they combine. They merge. So that's why I'm putting several little V's here. They all merge together. And I'm going to throw a leaf here. There are several little leaves around broccoli. And those are also going to be kind of random. It doesn't matter where you put them. Try not to make them too even. Like in terms of if there's one right here, try not to put another one right here. You know, if everything's really even, because nature's not really even, uh, symmetrical, you know, as they call it. And now, just like with a tree, I'm going to put several of these small, almost bushes patterns in the broccoli. I'm going to start out with one large mass first. Kind of like an afro. Right? Looks a lot like an afro. But the difference between this and afro is I'm going to actually dissect it, kind of. I'm going to part it at different areas, because these are different bunches. Bunched up into one. Imagine, like I said before, several trees mashed together. So... There's really no rule in terms of where I'm dividing it. But I would say make them all somewhat even the sizes of these little clumps. I mean, they're not even, obviously, but I wouldn't make them too drastically uh, different in size from each other. And, let's see, maybe another leaf. Maybe we have another one over here hanging off. Alright, guys. That's pretty much how to draw a stem of broccoli here. So, Please, uh, have you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll answer any questions. Uh, like uh, below if you do like the video, and I'm going to make more of these types. Uh, I'm going to actually put two different types of videos on this channel. I'm going to be putting probably more, sim uh, more simple objects uh, on this channel, and then I'll divide it into another channel maybe where I'll put more complex items. But All right, I'll explain that later. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, please, uh, I'll see you next time.